IP geolocation service as a REST API, totally self-hosted in your environment. That's what we're going to see in this video. If you want to learn more, stick with me. Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here. And in this video, we're going to see a very cool technology that I found randomly on GitHub. And actually, I made use of it in my Nginx web server, integrated as an auth request module. So all requests passing through Nginx would have geolocation information logged to a file. This information includes things like latitude, longitude, the city of the IP address, the country and things like that that we're going to see in this video and in the next upcoming video I'll also show you guys the integration of this service with Nginx so without any delay let's get down to work so here I've got the github repository for the observability stack GeoIP repository which is actually a json rest api for maxmind geoip database which we're going to see some description shortly in this video so basically what this project does is that it provides a simple rest web service which returns geolocation information for a given ip address so how this service does that is that it loads the location information from the maxmind geolite 2 which is a free geoip location database and because it is providing a rest web service it can be very simply integrated with other projects also in a microservice infrastructure so there are three ways to use this in this video we're going to see how we can run this as a docker container using the docker compose file so basically geolite 2 is a free geolocation data which is updated every week because the location for ip addresses gets updated dynamically and for that reason this geolocation database should also update itself accordingly so keep in mind if you are using this service you have to get your local database updated for the latest changes on the ip addresses locations and also over here I've got the docker hub page for the very container that we're going to use in this video. So if you take a look in the tag section of this image, you can see that it has a tag for each week of each year. So like for example, this image is created on the 24th week of 2023 and it holds the updates for this date. Of course, there are previous images for each week so you might need to use them according for your use case so going back to the repository over here as i said there are many ways to use this service i'm going to skip the running the container section which runs using the docker cli and i'll just move to the docker compose file that i've created which is using the exact same image and there is only one port that is exposed outside which is 8081 mapped to 8080 inside the container as we can see over here which is the port that the rest service inside the container will be running on so in order to spin up this service i'll switch to the terminal and i'll hit ls to make sure I'm in the exact same directory that I've got the docker compose file. So remember that I put all these files and configurations and everything in my GitHub repository, which you can find the link in the description section down below if you want to access them. So by only saying docker compose up dash D to run in daemon mode, I'll see that it creates a network and a container attaching to that newly created network. So by saying docker compose ps, I'll see all the containers that is created with this docker compose file, which is only one container, which is exactly the GeoIP container. So it is up and running and in healthy status and the port 8081 is successfully mapped to inside the container so right now the rest api is exposed on this port and by calling it i'll be able to gain information about the ip address that i'll provide to it so i'll do that by hitting a curl command i've got it over here if i say curl 
localhost 8081 and pass in a random IP which can be any IP address that you want to gain information about so I'll hit enter and as you can see it returns any information that it can find on the GeoIP database so it returns things like country, city that the IP address belongs to, lat long data over here and the continent, the time zone and also it has an accuracy radius so you have to keep in mind that these are not very accurate and actually they are related to an area not to a point on a map. Also another way to extract data out of this is by passing the relevant header so I've got another curl command over here I'll paste it hit enter with the exact same IP address as you can see by passing the xgeoip address header to localhost 8081 again I am able to extract the data out of this service so by saying dash i I am able to see the list of the headers that are sent back to my request so these are exactly the same data that I got on the body as a JSON or here. So as I mentioned this service is using the free version of the GeoLite 2 location database so actually you can purchase the paid versions which might hold more information more accurate data so actually you'll be getting them as MMDB files which is a custom database format standing for MaxMind database so these files are also located in the container if i say docker exec dash it the container name and bash at the end so by hitting this i am inside the container right now and if i go to this location which is cd slash serve i'll hit ls and as you can see i've got the mmdb files over here so you can extract these files from over here or if you purchase the paid versions and you've got the mmdb files you can create a docker file and replace those files or these files and your rest api service will be using the paid versions database or simply you can use the mount in the docker compose file and mount those files and override these files with your paid versions database files and again your rest api service will be using the paid versions database files so that's all for this video i hope you learned something new in this one actually as i mentioned i've used this rest service and integrated it with nginx web server log the location data to a log file and by using the elk stack i've been able to create a map visualization and see through the location of the requests that are passed through my nginx server i know you can reach the same thing with services like google analytics and things like that but using this stack it is totally self-hosted and actually might be needed in some use cases. Don't forget to watch other videos on my channel where I've got videos about cool technologies and also I'll put all the links down below if you want to access them and also I'll put the link for the next video where I'll show you the integration of this service with Nginx web server whenever it is ready. So as always don't forget to like and subscribe to help grow the channel and with that I hope to see you in the next video.